Hi everyone, my name is Sofia Mora and today I'm going to share with you a short story that I really like that is called The Old Country Advice to the American Traveler by William Sarian. So I will start. Once upon a time Malik traveled from Fresno to New York by train. Suddenly his uncle Garo, who was an old man, visited him since he wanted to warn his uh, see his nephew about the dangers of travel. He started saying that Malik had to choose his seat carefully once he gets on the train. And after that, he claimed that two men wearing uniforms would come down uh, the aisle and as soon as they ask for his tickets, he must ignore them because Gara considered that they were imposters. Consequently, Gara told him that a young man would come to him and offer a cigarette, but Malik must tell him that he doesn't smoke because the cigarette would be doped. From there on, the old man assumed that a beautiful girl would arrive when Malik takes dinner but Gara suggested dismissing his natural impulse because he thought she was a prostitute. In the meantime, Gara said that he had traveled before and that's why he knew what he was talking about. Then, on Malik's way to his seat, he would find a game of cards in progress with three middle-aged men that look rich with expensive looking rings on their fingers and they would invite him to join the game. As expected, uh, the old man advised to tell them that he doesn't speak English. And finally, the last warning was to take his money out of his pocket and put it in his shoe when he goes to bed at night. And especially, he told him not to sleep. Malik replied to every single piece of advice with yes, sir, because he believed everything his uncle said. Eventually, the next day, Malik got aboard the train and traveled to New York. However, the two men in uniforms were not imposters. The young man with the doped cigarette did not arrive. The beautiful young woman did not sit across the table in the dinner and also there was no card game in progress in the smoker however he followed all the instructions given by his uncle and he didn't sleep the first night by the second day he decided not to follow Gareth's advice and he started doing everything he wasn't supposed to do and he enjoyed the whole journey because he offered a cigarette to a young man he sit with a young lady in the dinner and he started a poker game in the smoker. Finally, when Malik came back from New York, his uncle, his old uncle Garo, visited him and Malik said that he followed all his instructions. To conclude, I would like to finish uh, by saying that I really like this story because it is very pleasant to read since you can imagine everything that can happen on a future trip and also the plot is very interesting since usually when an old man gives advice is right because he has experienced uh, these situations before that taught him how to act in life and that is why it gives the power of wanting to help an inexperienced person not to go through those bad situations. But it is very fascinating how the story ends because it is unexpected that all the advice is ignored and that, allow, that allows us to give a good life lesson on how despite taking precautions on many occasions, it is, better, it is better to experiment for yourself and that's why I consider it is important to enjoy the road with all the pros and cons you can find and learn from it. Thank you very much.